I wonder what my bike weighs. Well, I got my scale here. I'm going to see what it weighs. 31.2 pounds. I wonder how I can take some weight off my bike. Hey, bro. If you take those reflectors and that torque disc off, you'll lose like two pounds. Really? Wow. I'm going to try it. I'll take my dork disc and my reflectors off, and we'll see. Okay, I got my reflectors off, and I got my dork disc off. Let's see what my bike weighs now. 31.02 pounds? Man, I didn't lose anything. Hey, man, I thought I'd lose two pounds if I took my reflectors and dork disc off. And it didn't really take anything off. Man, I thought it was two pounds. I mean, I mean, look at those those reflectors are heavy, man, and that dork disc too. Man, well, you still got those those heavy pedals on there. You try those XTRs on there, and you definitely lose two pounds. Well, I don't know, but I'll give it a try. Man, I took my heavy pedals off. I got me some XTRs. I'm gonna put it on here and see what it weighs now. 31.02 pounds? Man, I still didn't lose two pounds. Hey man, I thought if I took all my reflectors off and my dork disc and then added these pedals that I would have lost a bunch of weight. Yeah man, well, I don't really know. I was just looking and I, I just thought I'd spout some stuff off. But, uh, nice bike and all. I gotta go. See ya. Okay, guys. So I decided to make this skip because I've had some people ask how much weight comes off the bike if you remove your reflectors and your dork disc. So I've got the handy data scale out here and give you an accurate weight. Front reflector. Rear reflector, wheel reflectors, and their mounting hardware, and a dork disc. So you can see 3.6 ounces, or 102 grams. Again, very minuscule. Thanks for watching the video. Remember to like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching Calatron's Corner.